This is the question, the heart of right. the matter. So right. on the one hand, you say, look, you don't know, have a clue what you're doing. Stay out of it, right? But we live in democratic systems where it's our responsibility not to stay out of it. Mm -hmm. So how do you manage that? Because you seem to be saying... Leave humility. It humility. Humility, right. But humility doesn't preclude activism. Uh, generally it does, yes. But Why? The, but Why that, does doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that I'm saying that there is no situations under which political action or activism is justified, because there are clearly situations under which it's justified. But it's not the first thing that you should be taught how to do when you're an 18-year-old person going to university and right. you don't know a damn thing. So I don't doubt that there's callow youth. I don't doubt that people have a lot to learn. And that, yeah, and they're and not that, learning it from their professors either. That may be true. That may be true. But you're clearly, I mean, a big part of your narrative comes from that energy of resisting that kind of, you know... Circumventing it. Circumventing, but you're also yeah. saying, you know, these people who complain about the world, they should just focus on their own, their own, what they can control themselves and work within that space. To begin with. To begin with, but, but mm. equally, there is a slight derision in the tone about people who actually care about bigger than self it's issues. It's not slight. Okay, it's big then. <laughs> so, bigger than self problems, which are They don't care about them. They just act like they just they're just they? acting out Who? the delusion that they care but about which, them generally. You, you seem to be caught I up watch in activists, the activists at the universities. Right. I know what they're like. And we've seen the videos and we know that kind of confrontation yes. and I don't We've seen Wilfred Laurier, for I've example. I've seen many, but I don't mm -hmm. doubt that there are those who who are like that. But there are many millions more, and I mentioned Gandhi, but yeah. you know, arguably You can't use him as an example. Okay, well Buddha, for example. Or Buddha, him. Buddha left his wife Buddha left his wife and child. Yeah, but you can't use them as examples. Okay, First of then, all, like Buddha's like Christ. It's like, well there's Christ. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what do you mean? No, there's Christ no, in university activists? No, no, but it's there's like, no. well there, there's um so Martin Luther King, can I use him? Yeah. Right? So Martin Luther King had an affair. It was quite yeah. well known. You know, his personal life was a bit complex. Yeah. But you wouldn't say that, you know, he had to sort that out before he went to sort of try and deal with civil rights in the U.S. So I'm just, I'm, get, I'm trying to get at the core of the tension. No, I would say that his own personal faults didn't preclude his social responsibility. Right. And it really is important to get that straight. But I would say that his own personal faults uh, served as a detriment to his overall mission. Right, right. And then I'm, I'm not, believe me, believe me, I'm not saying that if I was in Martin Luther King's position, I would have done a better job. It's like, I am not saying yeah, that, man, yeah. not in the least.